This is a story of a young man's attempt at redemption, searching for a gun believed not to exist. Daddy, I've done it. I've acquired my first gun. The Jackal. And what is it? It's an AK. This is why your mother left. But Daddy... I can be a man. I'll find that jackal. Doesn't exist, dumbass. And so begins our journey. As a child, I would hear stories of a legendary weapon, one that bridged the gap between an AR and an AK. It is said that the only one to wield it is a man, a man they call the 12-gauge sage with hair as white as snow and a beard like the fabled Merlin. But these are just rumours, I suppose. However, I believe it to be real and for the sage to be out there, waiting for someone worthy, someone admirable and of great courage and strength, like the ones who are part of the Pineapple Brigade. Is this him? Is this it? This? This is worthy? After an ASCII game and a day wandering the snowy mountains, and by sheer dumb luck and bad writing, we had finally found it. We had found the Jackal. Come with me. Sex appeal and death delivery all in one aesthetic package. Reminiscent of the ACR of old. But is this man truly worthy of such a weapon? Only time will tell. I'll prove you wrong, Daddy. You call your father Daddy. You got beat up without throwing a punch. You bought an AK for your first weapon. Rolo! Run! Fuck you! You let your friends fight alone. You are not the one I was looking for. You will always be Daddy's little girl. Not fucking worthy. Daddy? Daddy? Daddy never leaves the thought as AR. He died from disappointment. Tragic. Our journey continues. But for now, keep sleeping, my friend. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say, daughter, this is your fault? <laughs> okay. For one. Daddy? Daddy. Connor, god damn it. <laughs> Daddy.
Daddy, I've done it. What is it? Uh, I didn't <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, if you're still watching this, we appreciate it. Uh, real quick, just gonna go over the Jackal for those of you that are curious that may be considering a purchase here. I did buy this with my own money. We are not sponsored. Clearly, we're a pretty small channel. I'll give you what I think of this, whether I think it's a good buy or it's a piece of shit. Disclaimer, I'm probably not gonna call this a piece of shit because I bought it and I like it and I don't wanna be uh, the owner of a piece of shit, so there is that bias. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> we're gonna mouth? work our way ass to mouth. If you buy this in a 10.5 the way I did, what you're gonna get is a really shitty pistol brace. That being the little rubberized triangle stock, get rid of that. It bends and it's flabby and you can't get any kind of recoil control from it. It's a piece of shit. It's time Next to trigger, stop. this thing takes your standard AR trigger, so Geisley, ALGs, all that stuff will work. I did change mine into the ALG and it's a much better improvement. I can do faster follow-up shots. They just feel a little better than the standard mil spec ones. Um, second, if I were to get another version of this, I would probably opt for the 13.7. Reason being, the rail on the 10.5 is a little too short for me in the way I like to purchase my rifle. I have my grip. I wasn't able to do so because that charging handle, which is interchangeable, was on that left side and it was eating into my hand right in that webbing, which is pretty frustrating. So put that to the right side, put a foregrip, and that allowed me to kind of be lower and avoid it and have that mod light button kind of where I, where I need it to be. The last kind of note I'll bring up is that this is a long stroke piston system. So that being said, what you get is kind of a front heavy weapon. It's not the heaviest, especially since this is a 10.5, but I bought this because the idea was to suppress this as this does have a adjustable gas block, which is conveniently located right in the front there. You don't need any tools to adjust that bitch. Just use your hands, crank that motherfucker. Why are you As I said before, once you do put that can on it, it adds even more weight, as does the flashlight, laser, or combo. It's just something to keep in mind. So, as of now, it's still pretty wieldy. I can still be pretty fast with this thing, but the more weight and shit you put on, you might get a little slower split times if you even care. We're gonna run the bill drill from about seven yards here. Um, about the can, put the can on, see if we get a, uh, there's no timer, but I'll tell you if it feels slower. On you, Connor. <laughs> Definitely pulled one, because I added an extra shot like it showed, but. You're yeah. fired. Check the hits. Anything not marked yet is where we're at. Honestly, kind of spread out. All A's. But my apologies, I forgot that shot timer. You're fired a second now, time, Chad. Same thing with the can, see the difference and how it feels. All right, good, sir. Malfunction. You know what? Not the gun's fault. Gas setting. Shit, son. I can show you a real malfunction if you want. Just check the border. Beep. Ran ammo, but. One, two, three, four, five. Through one. I will say it did feel slower. And I should honestly practice with this gun a little more before I talk shit about it, but it's on me. It's not super unwieldy. It does have a little more uh, overthrow, but that's shooter error. You can probably train more of that and fix that, but that's on me, not the gun. Over travel is the right word. It's kind of where it's at right now, so it's meant to be more of a CQB type deal, even though I'm never gonna do that you shit. Got a badass. So I'm gonna shoot that target downrange to steel plate, a C zone steel, about 75 yards or so. All right, on you, Connor. Beep. Beep. I missed. You suck. All right, go. 
Beat me, bro. Hey, I'll beep you. Nope. Beep. One more. Beep. <laughs> then we'll go one from the low ready. Beep. Okay, he shot three, he missed three. Uh, I thought he was gonna shoot one. We're gonna see if Connor's worthy or not. He's gotta ding that C-zone steal out there. I don't know if you guys can see that. In a second and a half, we're just gonna guess the time. All right, ready? Ready. Beep. Oh man. Still not worthy. Fuck. All right, Connor, you got to transition, hit two A zones, two A zones on these two ip sticks, or you get no bitches. Cool? Two A zones, two, two, two. Sure, add that two in there. Do it from a lower high rate, doesn't matter. All right. Ready? Ready. Beep. All right, let's go check his hits. You get no bitches. Connor gets no bitches. <laughs> you didn't even mark the other two. <laughs> there is nothing that this rifle will do that an AR won't or can't do. ARs have been around longer. There's just more parts availability. They're incredibly modular, as you always hear. So that would be my opinion. Take that for what you will. But I would say this could be a buy if you have an AR. But if you don't have an AR, get the AR first, to be my suggestion. Some final thoughts to wrap this up. If you're trying to get into the piston driven market in the uh, AR type systems, there are better options out there if you are willing to fork up a little more money. So if you want to save up a little bit longer, I would probably recommend going that route. If not, or if you don't care, yeah, Jackal's a good buy. It's a good gun, it's been accurate enough. The furthest I've gone is 300 yards, forgot to mention that, but it's been pretty good and reliable so far. So there's that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being here. If you are subscribed, really appreciate you guys. Uh, if you've seen our other videos, thanks for returning. Hopefully see you again in the future. If not, thanks anyways. All right, what you got, Connor? Uh, please subscribe so that we can get laid.